Hey Odoers, welcome back. Having a clean and clear contact form makes it easy for potential customers to get in touch. They fill out a few fields and voila, you receive their inquiries. Additionally, with Odoo, forms can serve multiple purposes. Generating leads, gathering resumes, uh, creating support tickets and much more. Let's head over to our website and see how all of this works. Okay, so here we are on our main contact form. Now, when you select a form, it is linked to a specific action that occurs when the user submits the form. This action can vary depending on your needs and the Odoo apps you have installed. For instance, you can choose to send an email or to create a task in a project application or even to create an opportunity in the CRM with assigned sales team and salesperson. Now to set, set up the action for our contact form, we'll choose to send an email. And we can also specify the email address where we want his message to be sent to. In my case, it will be info at brusselssprouts.com. Now it's important to know that each form can only have one action. If you need multiple actions, you'll need to create separate forms. And there's a neat little trick to organize multiple forms without cluttering your page. There is a block that is called tabs. Now, if you go to the building blocks and we type in tabs, this is the block we're looking for. Let's just drag and drop it here. And here I see that the content will change in function of which tab I select. So I want two different tabs. The first one is going to be plan your trip because I want people to contact me to plan a trip. And the second one is going to be customer support. Now I don't need this third one. What we are going to do next is you're going to choose another block, which is called form. And that's the same block as this one over here. And you're going to drag and drop it here inside the uh, tab, the first tab. And in the second one that has no form for now, we're going to drag and drop another form, which we're going to put right here. And now I can specify a different action for each tab. For this one, the customer support, for example, I wanted to create a ticket. Now you need the Odoo help desk application installed to have this action. And this way the ticket will be sent over there. And for this one, I will just leave send an email. Now, don't forget that you should always determine the action before you start customizing the rest, because all of these options over here um, depend on which action you have chosen here. Now, let's customize our form further. We can uh, select what uh, happens when a field is marked with a little star. It can uh, mean that the field is required, that it is optional, or you can just say that you don't want any marked fields. Now you can change the label width so that there's a better layout, uh, basically. And you can also specify what happens after the user clicks on the submit button. Uh, it can redirect you to a specific page. Per default on Odoo, it will be a thank you page. It can show you the message that the user has just, I mean, it can show the user the message he has just put in, or it just doesn't do anything at all we'll leave it on redirect to the thank you page. Now it is very easy to remove a field. We can just do it by selecting the field and clicking on the little, uh, the little trash can. And to add a field, all you have to do is click on the plus field over here. And there a new field comes. Now I don't want it to be here, I want it to go under your company. So I can just drag and drop it. See, it moves. Or I can just click on the little arrows over here, like every element on Odoo, and it will move up and down uh, the form. Now I can specify the field type, which is down here below. I selected the field and I have uh, several, uh, several uh, options that it can, uh, can be. For example, a selection, and this way so the user has to select between different options that you can, of course, rename over here. Um, you have lists, you have checkboxes, you also have a file upload which means that someone can upload a file and you can even determine the max number of files they can upload and the maximum file size. You can change the label of uh, this. So for example, here it will be uh, upload your file and you can change its position. Do you want it to be like this, like this, like this? We'll just leave it as it is. Now we can add a little description that appears here and that we can also customize. Uh, we can say if it is required or not. And if I take one where you actually have to put in, uh, write something in, we can have a default value. For example, if I take your question and I type in, um, please uh, organize a, oops, organize 
a trip to Belgium for me. I can't type, but that's okay. For me, thank you. That way, if someone is in a hurry or doesn't want to type anything, he can just click Submit, and this is the default text that will be sent. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the conditional visibility. This feature allows certain fields to appear or hide based on user input in previous, previous fields. Sorry. So, for example, if I want this file upload to only appear on certain conditions, I can just select him, and then I go into Visibility. Uh, so I go in the field, and I go in Visibility here. It can always be visible, it can always be hidden, or we can determine that it's visible only if, and then I can say which field, let's say the field your company, and then we can say is equal to, contains, doesn't contain, is not equal to, is not set, or in my case, I would like to say is set, which means that there is a value in your company. And that means that actually I only want people to be able to upload their files um, if they work for a company or they're contacting me for a company. Of course, it's just an example that I took like this, but you can, you can uh, do it for anything that you can imagine. And that's it. Now you know how to create a contact form that streamlines communication for both you and your visitors, ensuring you gather all necessary information clearly. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.